Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about we and poo in the potty because Caleb is now potty trained and he clicked after just four days of doing it. So while it's fresh in my mind, I wanted to share all of my best tips and tricks with you. Caleb is now two years old and eight months and he was totally ready and he was showing lots of signs. So he was showing an interest in his brother going to the toilet, in me going to the toilet. And every time he did a wee or a poo in his nappy, he would take tell me almost to say like sort it out mum and now that I'm 30 weeks pregnant it kind of dawned on me that I only have 10 weeks to get him completely dry before the new baby or I'm gonna have two in nappies I kind of was waiting for the warmer months because I thought oh you know in June July he can run around with no nappy on in the garden what we did was we went out and we chose a potty together he chose this bright green potty he's got a thing about green actually um, and I also bought him some brand new big boy pants even though we had loads from his brother previously but I bought ones that I knew he would like the best so I got him like some Marvel ones and some spider-man ones and we made a big thing about it on the first day I showed him his brand new pants I had a potty chart I had lots of stickers and we had the potty itself and I let him even put some stickers on the potty guess what it's time to say bye bye to nappies bye bye nappies bye bye nappies yeah. and now we're just gonna wee on your green potty no. yeah it's over there Oh dear! Should we get it? No! Yeah, because Caleb, look, we're going to take the nappies off. <gasps> oh, it's round as strawberry purse. There, you've got big boy pants now. I've got Spider-Man ones. Spider-Man ones. Now Fraser's got them ones first. Fraser's got some like this, doesn't he? Look at these big boy pants. Oh, it's that one. No, it's Should we put them on? Put them off. You take them off? Okay, we'll put them on. No, but that's they're more pants. You want to wear them all in one go? Yeah, so that was all really exciting and I actually found it easier um, this time around with my five-year-old. He was really encouraging him and he was so excited about the whole process and he was like, you're a big boy now, Caleb, you can do this. Weeks leading up to when I was going to potty train him, we read some books about using the potty, we talked about it a bit more. Every time his older brother went to the toilet, I was like, wow, well done, like over the top praise about it. So we kind of had a bit of a build up to it. So for the first three days of potty training, Training, we pretty much stayed at home as much as we could with just a t-shirt on and absolutely nothing on it with the potty and we just kept encouraging him to use the potty um, he would not sit on it at all as my first son had no problem with sitting on it for about half an hour watching an iPad or reading a book or something like that but he would just not sit on it whenever we tried to put him on it he literally went like a cat that was getting put into a box you know that really went like stiff and stuff um, so the first two days he just would not sit on it and it was loads of accidents um, and then finally on day three I was like let's try the big toilet and he sat on the big toilet and he had a wee <laughs> then we were like over the top praise sweets stickers cheering calling daddy telling daddy telling phrase basically telling everyone and he was so proud of himself there have been a few times when he said that he needs the toilet and we'll sit him on the toilet and he'll be sat there for quite a little while and he will sort of you see his stomach muscles going and he goes it's not working it's not working so one thing that i did which i don't know if it's advisable but i did it um was whenever caleb gets in the bath he has a wee, like instantly, like the hot water makes him have a wee. So there's been a few times when he's been sat there for 10 minutes and he's getting frustrated and he's like, it's not working because this feeling is all very brand new of like releasing. So I got a bowl from the kitchen and I filled it up with like quite warm water and I put his little foot into it and instantly the wee came. So we did that a few times. We haven't needed to do it since, but maybe at the beginning, it just helps them to work out that connection and that like release after using the toilet he then did start to use the potty but he still much prefers to just stand over the potty rather than sit on it he has sat on it now 
but he, if he just needs a wee, he will run up to it and just stand over it and have a wee. I was thinking that's how he sees his brother go to the toilet, so that's probably what he thinks you do if you're a boy. Um, so I've actually got him the most ridiculous product that I thought I would never buy, but it's this little tiny urinal, <laughs> and you can stick it on a wall. It was only $6.99 on Amazon, and it's just been perfect for him because he likes to like stand up and there's this thing that you can wee on that spins round um, and it's just really funny if you have a boy that doesn't want to sit down then that might also work for your children I also have this really great potty that I wanted to tell you about for when we're out and about it's called the my carry potty and it's so so simple it literally closes so when you go out you could take it with you because we go out on lots of days to like the farm or the park and stuff and you get cut short so this is perfect for wees and poos and you can close it back up again and you can carry on with your outing and it comes in really cute bright different animals we chose the ladybird so when we did stay in for the first three days i would recommend maybe getting a few new little toys from like the pound shop or some bubbles and stuff to do we actually got some of those cupcake mixes that you can just make up together as like a half hour activity to do indoors um, and I think just being at home the two of us and playing it helped to keep him concentrated on what we were doing. I also wanted to say he's not potty trained during the night yet he is using pull up pants and I don't want to tackle that until he's over three or until he kind of prompts it. With my older son we were just getting ready for bed one night um, and I went to put the pull ups on him and he said no, nope, no more nappy no more nappies so I was like right okay I'm not gonna then force him to wear a nappy so we stopped the nappies and what we then did was the lift or the dream we they call it so when Fraser was about three and he was like I'm not using a nappy at night anymore my husband and I at about 10 or 11 o'clock at night when we went to bed we would lift him up asleep put him on the toilet and say have a wee and he would have a wee and then we would put him back in his bed and he would sleep through dry and we did that for quite a long time until one night we were like should we just see if he can make it through and he did um, but yeah that worked really well and it's surprising how they can just be lifted and stay asleep and have a wee when you tell them to. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Please ask me any questions in the comments below and um, let me know how you're getting on if you're tackling potty training. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.